Hello beautiful Pisces. We're going to be doing your relationship reading for March 1st through March 8th. We're going to go ahead and get your overall energies here. They're showing me Saturn. The planet Saturn. That's what they're showing me as I'm shuffling here. Um, Saturn is the planet of determination, hard work, discipline, karma even. This can... Thank you, my angels. Um, this can definitely symbolize that for you to look within yourself and ask yourself, is there an area in your life that could benefit from growth? Are there lessons you need to learn? And what are your limitations? Okay. And your card is express your love. Okay. It reads here, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, let's. Get some cards out here. And find out what we have going on for you, my dear Pisces. I've never gotten a planet before, but, you know, there's always, you never know. We have the Six of Swords, oh, that came out, Six of Swords, Nine of Cups in Reverse, and Page of Swords, interesting, in Reverse. Okay. All right, well, let's take a look at what we have here. I'm getting two stories here. I'm getting with the express your love and in combination of these three cards, the very first thing that came to me is that you are now in a calmer relationship and you are afraid with this um, nine of cups in reverse. You are afraid that it's going to go belly up as this previous, as the previous person that you were with or the previous relationship you were with, uh, this page of swords in reverse that was, you know, it was nothing but problems within that particular relationship. I'm not seeing that in in this particular instance here. I, I feel with this with Saturn here, it's like, have you learned your lesson? You know, uh, can can you grow? Are you able to grow from this hurt that that you had in the past? That's what I'm getting here uh, for some of you. For others, um, I feel that it's it's like a it's like you're looking at this person, and you know that they're like like you're very suspicious about them. Now, yes, this could this you could be suspicious. Because your previous person um, caused that suspicion and, you know, it, it rattled a lot of things. So now, you know, either you're looking for some red flags or, or things of that nature. Because you're wanting to prevent the unhappiness here. And, and it's like you're ready. You're ready to to pinpoint that they're doing something wrong so you can jet out of there. Um, but with this Saturn, 
it's like, have you learned your lesson? You know, are you limited to just your, your past pain or can you get past that? Have you learned the lesson of healing is really what this is going to come down to. Can you discipline yourself enough to say, I really need to express how I feel and verbalize this instead of being suspicious about X, Y, Z, whatever that looks like, right? That's, that's what I'm getting here for, uh, for you lovely Pisces in regards to the relationship you are in. Let's see here. Let me get some clarifiers. Oh, one already came out. Ooh, the lovers came out. I didn't even see it come out. It like just, it snuck its way in. The lovers came out. All right, let's get all the clarifiers and we'll get this full story out here. This card has been wanting to, to come out. All right, the tower in reverse. And okay, and this card also came out. The two of swords in reverse. Okay, let's take a look at these here. So for a lot of you, what this really comes down to because of the lovers here, it, it's going to come down to your choices. With the lovers, I feel like the person that you're with does love you and you do love them. That That is the sensation. That is the emotion that I'm getting. But the one figure is always looking down at the other in, in both images, actually, from the express your love and the lovers, they both have the same look on their face. And it's an indecisive face. Like, they can't decipher how they want to move forward. And I never noticed that about this particular lover's card. It's very interesting. Uh, with the tower here, it's like you're resisting change. Um... It's like your adversary. You're like, I, no, I, I don't. I, I don't want to change because you want to avoid a train wreck. You you want to avoid this heartache that is in your mind. I don't see actual heartache. Um, I feel like this is really in your mind. Is is what I'm getting here. And then with the two of swords. Again, this comes down, and it's in, two of swords in um, in reverse. This is indecision. Um, it's like it's like it's like you're delaying the progression of the relationship. I hope that makes sense with this tower card and the two of swords and the lovers all right here. I feel like that is the full story here with you, my dear Pisces. Now, for the other set of you, um, what I'm getting is that you're really, you're really delaying the inevitable is what I'm getting with this particular tower card. It's like you have a choice to make but you're delaying the inevitable. Um, and with the two of swords, it's like you're trying to expose lies that may or may not be there is what I'm getting. Very interesting. That's, that's what I'm getting overall. But you're not going to get anywhere unless you have an open discussion. We need to have communication here. We have uh, swords. We have six, uh, six of swords, the page of swords, and the two of swords. Overall, that is half your cards here that are all swords, all about communication. 
And as a matter of fact, your main card, which uh, is the express your love card, the person is, uh, does have a sword on its side. So this, again, all symbolizes communication. You need to have an open, honest conversation with your partner to get down to the root of the issue so that you are able to move forward, either move forward with your insecurity or hurt from your past relationships or open honest conversation to find out if this person is really being deceitful. Either way, you're not gonna know and you're gonna be stuck in this, um, say limbo of choices until you have this clear communication, my dear Pisces. All right, I hope this was helpful. Until we meet again, bye.